In a world marred by decades of conflict, hatred, and distrust, stories of transformation are rare, but they exist. One such story is that of Mohammed Massad, a man who once led a life defined by terror, but who now stands as a powerful voice for peace and understanding. Born in 1975 in the village of Burkin, Mohammed Massad was raised in a world where violence was a daily reality. By the age of eight, he was already on the path to becoming a terrorist. By 13, he was actively participating in the First Intifada, throwing firebombs and grenades at Israeli soldiers, earning his place as a local leader of the Fatah Black Panthers. But beneath this hardened exterior lay a conscience that would eventually lead him down an unexpected path. In the midst of the First Intifada, Mohammed set out on a mission with two friends to kidnap Israeli hitchhikers, a mission that would change his life forever. They spotted a young Jewish woman standing alone at a bus stop. It was the perfect target, or so it seemed. But in that moment, something inside Mohammed shifted. A wave of panic hit him, a wave he couldn't explain. He ordered the driver to speed away, leaving the woman unharmed. It was a moment of humanity that he couldn't ignore, a moment that would haunt him for years to come. Years later, Mohammed reflects on that day. Perhaps it was the memory of a kind female Israeli soldier who used to give him bread with chocolate spread when he was a child. Perhaps it was a deeper moral code buried beneath years of hatred. Whatever it was, it was the first sign that Mohammed's journey was far from ordinary. After being arrested and spending time in an Israeli prison, Mohammed was released as part of the Oslo Accords. He joined the ranks of the newly established Palestinian Authority, expecting to help lead his people to freedom. But what he found was far from the ideals he had fought for. The Palestinian Authority, led by Yasser Arafat, was not the beacon of hope he had envisioned. It was a regime marked by brutality, corruption, and oppression. Mohammed witnessed firsthand the horrors of the Palestinian Authority, torture, extortion, and the manipulation of his people. He saw how the very leaders who promised freedom were instead driving their own people into despair. This was not the Islam he believed in, and it was not a future he wanted for his people. Unable to reconcile his values with the actions of the PA, Mohammed made a bold decision. He left the Tanzim, the military arm of Fatah, and eventually made contact with the Israeli security services. He became a collaborator for the Shin Bet, a move that would change his life forever. Today, Mohammed Massad is an Israeli citizen living in Haifa. He is a proud Arab, a devout Muslim, and a staunch advocate for peace and democracy. He has dedicated his life to exposing the truth about the Palestinian leadership and to helping his fellow Arabs see that there is a better way, a way that does not involve violence and hatred. Since October 7th, Mohammed has been outspoken about the dangers of allowing the PA or Hamas to control Gaza. He knows their capabilities and he knows the destruction they bring. But more than that, he knows the truth that Israel, despite its flaws, is a nation that stands strong because it is guided by principles that its enemies fail to understand. Mohammed Massad's journey from terrorist to advocate is a testament to the power of conscience, the possibility of change, and enduring hope for a better future. His story reminds us that even in the darkest of times, the light of humanity can shine through. If you found Mohammed's story as inspiring as we did, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more incredible stories. Share this video with your friends, leave a comment below, and let's keep the conversation going. Together, we can work towards a future where peace prevails.